fires. As you can probably tell, recruitment has been slow, which has hindered our progress. But I think with your help, we just may be able to initiate some changes. What is it you had in mind? That letter you brought us came from our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. It contained extremely valuable information. I need you to infiltrate the Ministry of Medicine and confirm what this letter says. Do you have any questions? This Milton, who was he? Why did knowing my father make him trust me? As I mentioned before, he was our double agent in the Ministry of Energy. With his help, we were able to establish our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. In the early days of the rebellion, Milton also recruited your father as the official mechanic. They were good friends. I never met Cooper myself, but my understanding is that he was just as loyal as Milton. Losing them both has been a blow. I think we'll manage, though. After all, we have you now. You mentioned my father was with the Rebellion in the early days. How come he never mentioned it? It doesn't surprise me. The previous attempt at a Rebellion was met with disastrous failure. They didn't manage to get very far before being discovered and quelled by the aristocracy. Your father and Milton were the only original members to escape unharmed. It's taken us a very long time to get back on track, but I intend to avenge our forefathers and deliver the justice they died for. If you're so against the government, why do you use the Ministry of Medicine symbol as your code to get in here? That's exactly what the aristocracy would expect. Having our own symbol would make us easier to find once they figured out what it was. Sometimes the best way to hide things is to put them in plain sight. Can you tell me what it is I'm meant to find? Our contact was unable to provide the exact details in case the letter was intercepted. But if the information he did give us is correct, it means the government is covering up something very important having to do with the green lung vaccine. If you confirm this, it will be exactly what we need to expose the government's lies and incite a revolution. What if it turns out to be a false lead? It won't. Believe me, you'll find something in there. You have to. What's the plan for getting me into the Ministry of Medicine? An excellent question. You know how the wealthy have contracts with the aristocracy based on their support when they first formed? I have a vague idea, sure. If a government supporter were to show signs of green lung, the aristocracy would waste no time in sending a doctor to treat them. I want you to go to Fripp Square. My sources tell me that a notable supporter has recently been showing symptoms of the plague. His name is Silas Harrison. He should be visited by a doctor very soon. Find out when and where the visit will take place. Then, intercept the doctor, disguise yourself, and enter the Ministry of Medicine. Once you've done that, you'll locate the central storage room, where they keep the vaccine supply. I suspect that's where you'll find what we're looking for. Maybe I should write all this down. It's a lot to keep track of. No. I'm sorry, but we can't have a paper trail. I trust you'll be able to make this happen. I know it's complicated and dangerous, but believe me when I say this information will change everything. I guess I should get started. Good. Head over to Fripp Square and find out where Harrison is. That should get you close enough to intercept his doctor. You might also try checking at the Ministry itself. They might have some information on when the doctor is set to make his house call. Once you're in the Ministry, you can identify our contact by using the code phrase. I'm not sure how much help he'll be able to give you, but having an ally on the inside is at least better than nothing. I wish you luck, Amy. Remember that if you succeed, the Resistance will reward you in far greater ways than the aristocracy ever could. They must use this for target practice. The wig and noose are a nice touch. Hey. What do you want? What's your theory on what's inside the Ministry of Medicine? Knowing the aristocracy, it could be just about anything. But from what I've heard Danton say, it's definitely something big. Keep on doing what you're doing. Mm. Good day to you, merchant. Go away, you dog. I have nothing to say to you. 
Now, now, there's no need to be. I just try to make my living here. I have family to take care of, and no help from the aristocracy. Well, if you would just let me... My brother Pavel went out scavenging days ago and has not returned. We're all worried he's dead. What does the aristocracy do? Nothing. Sit in their towers and watch us starve. You are young. You do not remember life before the bombs. It was different. Guards were our friends, not monsters. I appreciate your position, but... Look, I think it's best if you just go. She's clearly upset. Fine. I was here to extend an offer of food vouchers from the Ministry of Resources. But if she feels that way, it's her loss. Good day to you, citizen. I apologize for upsetting you. Oh, thank you, Amy. I always get so angry when I see those guards. entrance to the Ministry of Medicine. I have to find a way in there. Even if it wasn't locked, I don't think I could just go waltzing in there without permission. He looks kind of bored. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? You know someone named Silas Harrison? Silas Harrison? The name sounds familiar. But then, I see plenty of names on a daily basis. I have to write the name of all scheduled appointments here in my ledger. Don't suppose I could have a peek at your ledger? Afraid not, miss. This is for government eyes only. And, not to be rude, but you don't look like a government employee to me. I just have to say, I've got the perfect life. Good for you, miss. Now please, move along. Could you tell me about this building, sir? You don't get out much, do you? This is the Ministry of Medicine. They're in charge of all health-related issues in the city. So this is where people come to get their vaccines? Correct. Entry is by appointment only, I'm afraid. I kind of figured as much. Keep up the good work. Have a nice day, miss. That's a nice statue, although the base looks a bit unstable. The guard has the door closed. Something tells me that's a good thing. Going in there while the guard is around would get me in major trouble. Let's hope this works. What was that? What a mess. I told them this would happen eventually. <sighs> Let's just have a look at this ledger. Here we go. Silas Harrison is being visited by a doctor this evening for a green lung treatment. This information could be very important to certain people. Might be a good idea to take it with me. Square. I do so love the dirty looks I get from people when I walk through here. This guy is the local news delivery system for the residents of Fripp Square. Hello there. May I help you with something? Have you heard the name Silas Harrison? I have, yes. He's fairly well known around these parts. Can you tell me anything about him? Like where he lives? Lady, I'm a town crier, not a town directory. If you want to put your nose where it don't belong, you're better off talking to Flora and Genevieve on the other side of the square. So you're a town crier? What do you actually do? I deliver the news to the people of Fripp Square. They ask about specific headlines, I tell them. Some sort of breaking news arrives from the government, I read it. It's rather simple, really. 
I've got some news for you. I've got the perfect life. You, of all people, have the perfect life? I guess that really is news. I've got things to do. We'll talk later. Well then, don't let me keep you. That's a pretty dramatic statue. I guess that must be the eponymous Mr. Fripp. You know, I have to admit, this one is kind of cute. That's the tiniest raven I've ever seen. It's a small waste bin. It appears to be almost full of the brim. Wow, a 2003 Fairway debutante. I'm surprised it's still intact. Most of these were gutted for parts and metal in the years after Blast Day. She seems to be having some private conversation with her friend, but I can't quite make out what they're saying from here. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, oh. Where did you come from? She looks like she just came from the quarantine zone. Don't be silly. You know nobody ever leaves that awful place. In any case, I'm sure you've got a lottery job you should be doing. Why don't you run along and leave us to our conversation? <laughs> Which reminds me, I need some new servants. I was entertaining guests the other day and they kept interrupting. Good help just keeps getting harder to come by. Excuse me, sir? Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? I'm Amy Wellard. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Amy. My name is Maximilian Huber, but please, call me Max. Do you live around here? Yes, just around the corner, but ever since my wife passed, I like to get out of the house and spend time with my friends. Your friends? Yes, the Ravens. So, how much time do you spend with your friends? Not all day, but most of it. They are beautiful creatures, aren't they? How those Reaper cultists have turned them into a symbol of fear is beyond me, but to each his own, I suppose. I only wish I had something to feed them with. The poor things look terribly hungry. What do they eat? Anything, really. Meat, vegetables, insects. They're not picky eaters by any means. I'm looking for Silas Harrison. Do you know him? Know him? Not personally, but I know who he is, certainly. You wouldn't happen to know where he lives, would you? I'm afraid not. I never had any cause to pay him any social calls at his home. My apologies. Do you know the two women over there? They're kind of rude. Them? Oh, don't pay them any mind. They're just a couple of harpies who have nothing better to do with their time than gossip about everything. You should hear them any time the newsman reads out a headline. It's non-stop chatter. But please, let's discuss something more worthwhile, shall we? You know, it's days like these that make me realize I've got the perfect life. That's a lovely attitude to have, my dear. Your optimism is inspiring. Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! Do you have any vegetables a raven might like to eat? Ravens? Yes, I see them around my garden all the time. They love my alfalfa sprouts. Have you got any for sale? Sure, but take this bag. On the house. Are you sure? Yes, I owe you after helping me with the guard. It's the least I can do. Thanks. You really shouldn't make trouble with the guards. I'm not making trouble. It's them who are causing all the problems. You know as well as I do, you haven't got a brother named Pavel. Well, they need to understand that life's not easy for us. It's not like they do anything about it anyway. Just try not to get so riled up, Marishka. He was trying to help you out. 
The day I take help from those dogs is the day I die. <laughs>